Good evening. Thanks for joining us. A breaking news update. We're learning more details in a lawsuit against an upstate cheer and gymnastics facility. More coaches from Rockstar Cheer have now been named as defendants accused of sexually abusing young athletes. Our Kelsey O'Donnell has a closer look at the amended complaint. The 76 page filing released by Strom Law Firm details the alleged abuse and names even more victims, both male and female. The lawsuit says five out of the six named coaches were employed by Rockstar Cheer and others had ties. The expanded federal lawsuit released Thursday names the coaches, owners, a number of companies, and their governing bodies like USA Cheer and the Federation of Sport Cheering in the lawsuit. We have seen evidence of and heard stories of long standing sexual abuse, physical abuse, emotional and mental abuse at the hands of coaches, um, gym owners, uh, other athletes. Numerous allegations have come to light following the death of former rock star cheer owner Scott Foster, who was found dead at Paris Mountain State Park last month. The latest include assault and battery, conspiracy, and includes multiple counts of negligence. It's not just a focus on sexual abuse per se, um, but rather abuses of all types within the cheer industry. Attorneys representing the case say victims reported the abuse, yet nothing was done. Boys, girls, young men, and young women who have been abused at the hands of the people in power who are supposed to be protecting them. According to the lawsuit, the companies involved made billions of dollars while the abuse was being ignored. It also claims underage athletes were given drugs and alcohol on multiple occasions, taken across state lines and sexually exploited. This as Rockstar Cheer in Greenville announced last week it was closing its doors for good. At that time, the co-owner Kathy Foster, widow of head coach Scott Foster, released a statement saying, quote, I am heartbroken by the recent allegations made by current and former athletes from Rockstar Cheer and other cheer gyms in our community. I hope the survivors are seeking to receive the support they need. Attorneys representing the alleged victims say their jobs are far from over. The attorneys from this case say federal and state agencies are actively investigating Rockstar Cheer and those associated with it. In Greenville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. And if there are any more filings in this case, and as it moves forward, we'll continue to follow any developments in the litigation. You can read this new expanded federal complaint for yourself. It's long, but we posted all of it at WSPA.com.